Hey guys, this is T-Way from T-Way Customs once again. This time we got a little different perspective on Detroit Pistons and Detroit Shock. You know, you've seen the Tayshawn and the Rip interviews, but now we're going to take it into offices a little bit and see what it takes to run a program like that. I'm here with Alicia Jeffries. Yep. Alicia, what exactly is your title um, with the Pistons and Shock? I'm the Director of Business Operations for the Detroit Shock and Director of Brand Management for the Detroit Pistons. So it sounds like you do a little bit of everything. What is your typical day like um, or during the Pistons season or during the Shock season? Basically my primary role is to focus on marketing and promotions and building the fan experience. So I handle anything from what's on the website to what fans interact with when they actually get to the building. Um, so that's my primary responsibility. How did you kind of come into this job, or how did you work your way up into this role? Because it's pretty high up there, as Aaron Smith was uh, describing to me earlier. Right. Well, as a child, I was actually um, a competitive gymnast for like 10 years, so I was already an athlete by the time I got into high school. So I was totally interested in sports. I was a two-sport athlete in high school, um, so that whole uh, area of interest was you know, important to me. So by the time I went to college, I actually found a major, sports management and communications, mm -hmm. that I could do the stuff that I loved. So yeah. I actually went to Michigan and um, got a major, or I got a degree in both of those. Okay, very good. So Where'd you go to high school? Flint Northern, Flint Northern, the home of Deanna Nolan of the Detroit Shock. Uh, yeah, we did. Last summer they just opened, uh, it wasn't, was it a YMCA center? In Flint? Yeah. Oh, uh, we did a Boys and Girls Club Boys with Deanna. Boys and Girls Club, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 But Flinttown, I'm a Flintstone where, okay. you know, I went to high school with Mateen, Cleves, okay, see former that. Piston. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> All right, so how long have you been with the Pistons and Shock organization? I've actually worked at the Palace about six okay. years. Okay, and where yep. did you get your start? What was your position? I actually got hired to be the marketing manager for the Detroit Fury. Have you ever heard of them? Oh, the football team? Yeah, uh, arena football. Yeah. So I actually did grassroots marketing for them for a couple of years before they folded. I obviously didn't do a very good job. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just playing. It wasn't me. <laughs> All right, so where do you see yourself? What's your future goals? Um, are you going to try and continue working your way up with the Detroit Pistons and Shock? Or are you going to try and uh, branch out a little bit and go elsewhere? Well, the organization has been great to me, so I've been able to kind of move up and, you know, find my way and do things that I actually really enjoy. Um, actually, next season I'll probably be taking on more responsibility, um, running most of the operations for the WNBA team here, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm an advertising and PR major in college, and so we get a lot of people coming in and trying to describe their work experience and kind of what it entails and kind of give advice. Since you're obviously so highly credentialed, um, what would you, what advice would you give, you know, college students who want to work for a pro sports team or do something similar to, your, right. to what you're doing? Well, the first thing is they definitely have to have a realistic expectation for what it takes because professional sports across the board is a lot of time away from your family and friends. We work nights and weekends. We work every day of the week just like normal business hours. So they definitely have to be able to work hard and work long hours and not mind it. Plus a little bit lower pay than typical in other business industries just because there's such high demand for the positions. Um, probably my best advice though to interns or college kids is to get as much experience as possible, volunteer in their favorite sport, um, get as many internships before they graduate, uh, volunteer or uh, work part time as cashiers, ticket takers, mm -hmm. concessionaires, whatever it is, just be around sports. Um, I actually, you know, worked in college hockey, I worked for a PGA Tour for mm -hmm. golf. I worked in the NFL, I worked uh, Major League Baseball for the Atlanta Braves, so I kind of went all over the place. Um, I didn't limit myself to the sports that I loved, I mm -hmm. just tried everything and it allowed me to get a lot of good experience before I got hired. And then when I did get hired for my first job, I actually got hired into management because I had so much experience. So That's a lot of experience. Yep. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, I was I feel a little bit unworthy to be around here. but. <laughs> What would you say, obviously, you know, sports, you're on sports, and there's a lot of perks to that. What are kind of your greatest memories or experiences that you've had? Well, people wait a lifetime working in professional sports to win a championship, and luckily I came in at the right time, and we won three championships um, in the six years that I've been here, two with the WNBA and one with, obviously, the Pistons. Mm -hmm. um, so that's phenomenal. It's amazing. There's nothing like that moment in time. 
and luckily I was here at the Palace uh, for all three. I will have to give a plug to the Detroit Shock though because those championships were amazing. Mm -hmm. The crowds for WNBA teams are phenomenal, so I really enjoyed those a little bit more actually than the Pistons championship because we blew out the Lakers, so yeah. it really wasn't a big, you know, hard game. The Shock really should have had another one last season, but they kind of let that one slip. We don't talk about that. I'm sorry, I didn't get the memo. But obviously you got the ring, so we kind of came unprepared. We didn't let you know ahead of time. Yeah, off, it's been nice, though, to be able to, you know, rock the championship rings yeah. when I went to. We got to. the trophies in the back, though, in case yeah, you Yeah, there they are, we 03 too. and 06. Yep, so. so we got a little bit of hardware in here. So, All right, well, thank you for your time and for your knowledge. And uh, this is T-Way from T-Way Customs and Alicia Jeffries from the Detroit Pistons and Detroit Shock. See you guys later.